With this circuit, we can use the op-amp to create an inverting summing amplifier. The circuit has three input voltages and will out the output will produce an inverted sum of these inputs. Let's firstly examine the components and configuration. On this circuit, we have three DC voltage inputs set at 2, 3 and 4 volts. They are labelled V1, V2 and V3. There are five resistors, R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. R1 to 4 are of equal value. R5 is connected to the non-inverting input and then to ground. R1, R2 and R3 are connected between the power supplies and the inverting input. R4 is connected to the output and used to create the feedback loop. Let's look at the formula used to calculate the output voltage. To calculate the output voltage, we use the following formula. Voltage out equals negative R4 multiplied by V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3. So let's plug the values in from the circuit and the formula looks like this. Negative 10,000 multiplied by 2 divided by 10,000 plus 3 divided by 10,000 plus 4 divided by 10,000. 2 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.0002. 3 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.0003. 4 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.0004. 0 0.0002 plus 0 0.0003 plus 0 0.0004 equals 0 0.0009. So voltage out equals negative. 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.0009, which equals negative 9. Remember, this is an inverting amplifier, so the output will be a negative value. Let's go to the simulator and see the working circuit. Here we have the circuit set up in the simulator with the three DC input voltages set at 2, 3 and 4 volts. When we play the simulation we can see the output is negative 9 volts as we predicted with the formula. The circuit has taken the sum of all the input values and outputted them but the output is a negative figure as the amplifier inverts the input. Looking at the circuit, it does not appear practical to sum values together to give us a negative output. Where the circuit becomes useful is when we switch the DC voltages to AC sine wave inputs. So let's do this and then re-examine the circuit. With the three inputs now sine waves, we can see a more practical use for the circuit. If the three inputs were audio feeds, we could sum or mix all three inputs together. Let's highlight the output so we can see all the mixed signals and then play the simulation to see what 20, 21 and 22 Hz mixed signal looks like. As we can see, the output signal is varying from 20 Hz to 22 Hz and then back to 20 Hz. It is constantly increasing and decreasing 
mixing all three separate inputs to create one varying output. Notice that the output voltage is only reaching a peak of 223 millivolts. This is a good opportunity to add another op amp to the output to increase the signal strength. With a known inverting amplifier attached to the output, we hope to make a gain on the original signal of 11. So it's 11 times the strength of the original signal input. Let's play the simulation and look at the new amplified output. And now, as we can see, the output signal is peaking at 2.46 volts, a very significant increase. With medical equipment, such as a heart monitor, this type of circuit would be useful. The three inputs would be the pads placed on the patient's chest, the human heart gives out a very small voltage that could be read by the summing amplifier, then increased by the non-inverting amplifier to an output screen to monitor the patient. Now obviously medical equipment is much more sophisticated than this, but it will give you some ideas on how op amps can be used. It is also important to note that op amps are available as dual and quad op amp ICs giving the option of two or four op-amps in the one IC package. <laughs>